Bob Silent here again. I'm bringing you today's latest global news. Um, first in the news, um, the volatility test that Mindark was running has been completed, so mining and crafting's back to the way it was for now. Eventually they'll be apparently updating it permanently based upon the test. That's what this paragraph says. Also, on Planet Calypso, they put out a preview for Merry Mayhem, or I mean Easter Mayhem, not Merry Mayhem. That happened months ago. Also, the Enigma Keys mission. I don't know why they're, like, doubling up on missions on the same planet at the same time, but it seems like a great way to keep people from participating in both of them fully. We'll take a look at the Enigma Key mission first. So anyway, it's supposed to be some sort of three-stage mission. Scheduled for release as the same day as Mary May or Easter Mayhem is supposed to start, right? There are some cool uh, prizes, like a jumpsuit that gives you run speed increase for this mission, but I mean. Everyone who plays Entropy is going to probably just be doing the Easter Mayhem. So this Enigma Key mission is probably going to be a flop for Mindark. In the Easter Mayhem, they're, they're changing things around again. Right, there will no longer be looted tokens. Um, instead of blocking you from entering the low-level categories, they're just going to shrink your health to this total. So, I mean, even an Uber can participate in Category 1. Oh, uh, well, not an Uber, I guess, because you still have to have the combat profession requirements. But if your health is over the soft cap, they'll just lower your health to the cap for the event. Okay, well that's enough of that. Moving on to the normal stuff. We're looking at Kerberos on top in hunting with uh, 1.65 million ped and 14,542 globals. Looking at Listerium Stone, 651,000 ped, 4,472 globals, topping mining. In crafting, we have, of course, explosive projectiles. This time we're over 4 million in PED and over 17,000 in weekly globals. Taking a little more detail into hunting. Somebody's hunting on Monria. A little bit of action on OLA 42 and OLA 39. What are the most popular mobs this week? Still got Big Bull topping the list, followed by Warrior, Fetfox, Proteron, Aatrox, Leviathan, Warlock, Aussie Column, Caperon, and Aranatrox. Kerberos is right off the list. Taking a look at mining. Lots of mining going on in Monria right now. A little bit on FOMA too. <coughs> That's a... Oh, and OLA-43. Mineral composition. What is coming out of the ground? Listerium stone, iron stone, calderite stone, arcanism stone, belcar stone, crude oil, melchy water, blossarium stone, 
zinc stone and ganganite stone. Crafting is a whole page of explosive projectiles. That one's a nice loot right there. 670 US dollars. The big global five are the big monthly progressives at 532.50, which is actually I think a little bit behind where I think it would be at this point for March. There are only 22 participants in this week's Embrace the Grind event. There are three days left in the event. Oh, probably two days left in the event by now. Um, looks like if you can get five globals, you can be in third place. Alright, that's all I've got for you guys today. Tune in next week for more Entropia Global News. If you like what I'm doing, follow me on Twitch. Subscribe to me on YouTube. You can also follow my uh, Twitter feed at, uh, at Bob, or no, at Dash the DB. Um, yeah, see you guys next time.